Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix a very simple problem. So I really like the AirPods. It's pretty comfortable to use. It's very convenient and I, it barely has any problems. But the one I do face pretty consistently is that only one side connects and that can get very annoying. So I'm gonna be showing you how to fix this on both the Mac and the iPhone. So the first thing you wanna check is scroll all the way down to accessibility settings and find audio and visual you want to set it to it might be set to the left or right and that might be why you're having audio come out of one side so it might not be a connectivity issue but more of a settings one um, but that should fix it if that doesn't then you want to go all the way up to bluetooth find your airpods forget the device and if it's connected to your macbook as well it should disconnect from both of them so now you want to open up your AirPods, hold the back button until it starts flashing uh, white for 15 seconds, and then that should get it to reset. Once it's done resetting, it should pop up on your iPhone again, connect to it, and hopefully that should have fixed your problems. If that doesn't work, you want to scroll down to general, go to reset and reset, reset network settings, type in your password. Okay, so once it's back up, you should be pretty good and it should work as normal. So now I'm gonna show you how to do all this on the Mac. It'll be a lot easier on the Mac. Just open system preferences. And the first thing I should check if I were you is go to sound settings and see which side the balance is set to. If it is coming out of one side, usually it's set to either the right or the left. And all you wanna do is center it to the middle. This should fix the one side issue, but if it doesn't, you can go into Bluetooth settings, check if it's connected and just remove it. Follow the same steps for the iPhone while resetting the AirPods. And then you should have your AirPods pretty fixed. If none of these steps work, I'd recommend going to an actual Apple service center, talking to an employee and trying to get fixed or replaced. But that's all the tips I have for today. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.